Holy cow, my overlay. And wait, where am I? What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Yo, today I opened up my YouTube, like, live streaming page. And I was like, oh, look. Oh, look. Wait, let me find it. I was like, oh, look. The end stream button. Look at this glowing red button. Maybe I should try to click it or something. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, it's a red button. Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a big red button. It must mean something good. And I almost clicked on it, holy cow. My stream was about to be a one minute stream. <laughs> no, this isn't even the new UI. Wait, are the subscribe buttons still red? Wait, let me check, let me check. Let me check, let me check. Some random thing I'm not subscribed to. Well, actually, never mind. I probably know. It's probably red, right? Wait, it's what? What? Really? Wait, 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 wait. One sec. Oh! You're right. It's not red anymore. Yeah, what the heck? I thought YouTube's whole thing was the red color. I thought the red color was supposed to be the... Well, I guess it still is for like some parts, but like... What? That's crazy. I, I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize. But like... What? It's just the logo. Yeah, right? I thought I thought it was creative to have the different um what do you call it? the different like huh? Red accents. Yeah, that's the word. Accents. I love when UI have like accented colors and stuff, you know. Isn't that isn't that great? It's still red. Oh, I, I think the UI didn't roll out for everyone yet. So if you still have the the old one, it still should be red. Or like, it's also different on mobile, I think. I think. Right? I think. But, um, I think it was, uh... Yeah, I think it's not out for everyone yet i think i think I i'm not sure though i i haven't uh gotten it like or i don't fully understand how they roll out the the ui changes on youtube like some people have it early and some people have it late and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. yeah it, it, it's 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 uh what do you call it it depends. Right? Milk to talk kakete talk nana kato omotta. Oh my gosh. Wait. Talk? What's. It's, is talk taro plus milk? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Taro plus. Not equal. Milk equals. Talk? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> coffee taro milk? We're playing coffee taro milk today? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> that sounds delicious. 
Well, one way to find out if Coffee Talk is actually a delicious game. And that one way to find out is to actually play the game. So we... So we... Yeah... <laughs> Yay! Wait, let me let me check the volumes. Do you like do you like Vietnamese coffee? Uh, I don't think I've had it. Oh, oops. Oh, it's one of those games when you alt tab, it goes away. Okay. Mhm. Mm I don't think I've had Vietnamese coffee before. Or like, I only drink coffee from the family coffee machine. I just like leech off, <laughs> leech off coffee that they've like my parents have already brewed. I thought you were gonna drink coffee and talk. No, it's the it's the game. <laughs> it's the game. But yeah, I've heard some good stuff about the game, I think. What is your name? Uh Yes. There's like an endless mode. Oh, options, options. You always gotta start with the options. Uh. Okay. Welcome, Banana Man. Let's go. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is a footnote in history. Oh. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. My, my headphones. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, what's, what's going on? Is everything okay? Something happened. My audio just pooped itself for a second there. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. My my. I think my GoXLR like lagged for a second. We back. We back. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them. Among them! And dri <laughs> as driven as ever. It is a city that holds many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold. True. But some find few but some few find solace in the embrace of the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks then take up residence in some stranger's memories. Mm -hmm. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. Whoa, only at night? 
a place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Y'all got a cup of coffee? Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Okay. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Hey, Banana Man. <laughs> How's the night so far? What was this? Tomo da chill. Brew pad. Shuffled. Oh, so this is the log. Oh, it's just the options. Okay. Hey, Banana Man. How's the night so far? It's calm. As usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Because this is the tutorial and I'm not going to overload the person who's playing the game, the whole set of ingredients. I mean... I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve this caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up. <laughs> let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Huh. Writer's block again. Got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... <laughs> what kind of disruption? Ah. Uh, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. <laughs> Banana Man multitask. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Do you want your triple shot ex espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Okay. So I'm assuming espresso. Wait, so I need to triple shot this? Or, oh no, the triple shot is just espresso, I guess. Okay. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Right? Okay, so I, I make, I make that espresso. What's this? Some layers? Oh, whoa! The music changed. There's a brew. Ta da! Serve. Oh, shoot. There's like a trash can. I guess it costs like trash can health or something, I guess. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm. That aroma. Ah, uh, exactly what I need. Yeah. Whoa, was that a was that a cat in the background? I just saw a cat just walking in the background. Anyway, where were we? You're planning to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So... A novel? Yes. Oh, a novel! It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. 
at least you still have your job. In case things go awry. He 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 he. Ha 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 ha. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? The Evening Whispers. GRA Media, right? GRA Media. Yes. And they're also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by, what do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Pog? They're not speaking, but internally, I'm pogging. I'm internally pogging. Come on. Don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Oh, no. Wait, what? It was a stupid thing to do? What? Yeah, yeah. I know it was... I know it was such a stupid thing to do. So... How did they react? Thankfully, they pogged. Oh! He'd seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get that fiction publishing, publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Oh! The P in POG stands for publishing. <laughs> that sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? Oh, that's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. <clears throat> if the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. No? I mean... I don't know how much progress you've made. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Er... Uh, Oh my gosh. Are they a procrastinator? Me too. <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... Oh no, they're PNing. <laughs> they're PNing. It was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. So, zero. <laughs> oh, yes. I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Oh! Oh my gosh, they have they have horns on their phone case too. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, you know, every time they say hi there, I I have to I have to do the 
the Winston. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please? Okay. Oh, wait, so I could, like, discover stuff? I guess I could just do dark chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Weow. Nice. Dark chocolate. Serve. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. Yeah. It, what, what? You expect it to be cold? Or lukewarm? <laughs> so, you're waiting for your boy boyfriend? Yes. He should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it. Is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Huh. I... I mean... I guess they're going for the niche. The niche... Niche store? Niche... Niche coffee shop? Then why? I just love doing it. Ah, I like that. I like that. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? People like you. That's a secret. Whoa! A secret. Banana man here is damn rich. That's the secret. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Banana man can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. Yeah, they don't know that I stream stream during the day. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. Shh. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? They don't know I'm a VTuber. <laughs> they don't know. I don't really have anywhere where else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, uh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. Oh my gosh, YouTube shorts. I love their fiction. You wrote these stories? Oh my gosh, they... Uh, she just... Uh, it's called YouTube, YouTube shorts fiction. 
Just call them fake. <laughs> Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Whoa! Short sleeves, but a scarf. That's a, that's a, that's a fashion choice. In the rain, too. <laughs> Peter Pan? <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folk here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Mmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on, on the top. Oh my gosh. This guy's a social media influencer. He wants to post this on... Uh, I guess the cappuccino, right? He needs to post this on Instagram. Coffee, coffee, milk. And how do I draw the latte art? How do I draw the... Oh, do I just brew it first? I guess. Oh, there's the latte art thing. All right. Oh, wait, 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 this is cool. So I could pour milk. Oh. 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 And I could do stuff like... Oh, I don't know what I'm drawing. <laughs> oh, I can reset. Okay, okay. When people do something like, wait, 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 wait. when people do something like, what's invert? What's invert? Huh? Huh? Oh, the milk's inverted? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna draw like a tree. How do you etch? Oh. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, sort of? <laughs> wait, 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 huh? Poop? No, that's not poop. Wait, wait, okay, so... I don't know what the invert does, but... <laughs> How do you... Sure. <laughs> it 
It's like... What? Canada? Oh, invert. Oh, oh, inverts the gravity. Oh. That's what that does. Okay, okay. That makes sense now. Okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Here's your order. <laughs> Is this what you call latte art? That's cute. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, they say. All right. All right, we take those. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah. I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. <laughs> nice, to meet, nice to meet both of you. I'm Banana Man. <laughs> hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricature... Hmm? Caricatures? Ca ca oh. Caricatures? What are... They? What? Sorry. Let me Google. Caricature. Caricatures and infographics. Oh, la, 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 la. For the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Oh my gosh, Steve Jobs. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? Oh! Sussy? No, he isn't. Oh! 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 But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad that he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with the bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. No, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Oh, sheesh, banana man. Okay. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you to in the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? No, not far. Just over at the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Should we move to the other seats too? Nah, here's good. Okay then. <laughs> Bailey's is like, oh shoot, I don't want to accidentally like say something bad and then get like face banana man's hands, you know? I don't want to catch these hands. 
<laughs> so, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood after mood all day. I thought your boss was always the happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. Are we third? Why are we third wheel again? What do you mean again? I'm literally just a barista. I am. I. I'm literally a barista. I am doing. I'm at my job here. The, the, I, I'm working. I, I'm working. Right? Anyways, you should, you should make a meme about her. Lamau memes. And lose my cr current project for a minute of laughter? Worth. Ah! That might be worth it. Ah, oh, he agrees. Banana Man agrees too. Ah, you should ask. You should ask Banana Man here to how to deal with annoying clients. Uh, uh, block them in chat. Oh yeah, how do you how do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need to need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now, that's one good lesson to learn for the day. No. Oh. Your phone. Your parents? Yes. Oh. Are they strict? So, you've talked to them? Oh, issues. I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Oh no, Peter Pan. They won't give us a chance at all. Oh yeah, yeah. They don't they don't want Peter Pan. Oh anyone but an elf? Dang. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know? They're our fam- they're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might- I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still. You don't know what they said about you last night. Oh. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. This is the same old Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no, no other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been, already been tainted by a lowly succubus? That's exactly what they said. Ooh. Succubus and an elf? So this is it then. The end of our relationship. 
No. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know? We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. Oh my gosh. Yo, Freya! You should be taking notes. The, the, Freya, I know you're in the at the window seat. You, you should be taking notes. Right here. Right here. Th this one. <laughs> Th this one right here. Oh my gosh, the drama. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. Oh my gosh, it's like Lord, Lord of the Rings. Oh. oh my gosh. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Oh. I can't think about this clearly right now. True, also important. Don't get pressured. Give, give it time. Give it time. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! No, give Lua time. She needs time to think about this. So sudden. It's very important of a decision. I'm sorry I had to listen to our problems. Banana man just sitting here being like... That's alright. <laughs> That's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. You have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. All right. Green tea, milk, milk. All right. Oh, wait. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I think I, I think I figured this out. And if I invert here... I've mastered, I've mastered it. I've mastered the latte art.
<laughs> Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. Oh my gosh. That's something I would say. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Oh my gosh. Bailey's a minion? Man, out of all people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can, if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. Uh, but I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an attorney to learn and change. Or an attorney to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself until myself under until the sun rises there's still a while until sunrise more time for me to drink then see you around see you around too miss freya thank you do visit again did you take notes you were listening from the corner yes pm Poor souls, PM. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too, PM. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close this shop, the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. I got a, a stream tomorrow. Uh. Uh, yeah, uh, I gotta uh, play some, uh, I mean, no, you don't know about my streaming career. <laughs> After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. All right. Te Tariq. Tea with milk. Tilk! Okay. Wait, the place is called Coffee Talk? Oh! I thought it was just... Oh, okay. December 23rd. Not December? What? December? September 23rd. Holy cow, what the heck? Why did I say December? Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Oh. Virus. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Oh. Uh, fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Mmm. Okay. So are the orcs like all like STEM majors or something? I, I seem to see like... Wait, what's the one that chill? Oh, my friends. Oh, it says... Oh, we're close friends. Right before the evening whispers talks about mundane things, art, and life in general. Oh, shoot. Wi-Fi here. Police department. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. I have to unlock the f the close friend stuff. Oh. Gala. Lua. Whoa, what language is this? Biz dev lead at Discovery National Capital. A dev lead. Okay. Oh my gosh. What a picture. Uh, votre ame est un passage choisi.
It's French. Some some quote or something, right? I'm assuming. And then Bailey's freelance designer and number one pumpkin spice fan. Wait, you're a pumpkin spice fan? Then why'd you? Oh wait, well I didn't even have it in the first place. Oh my gosh, it's the designer black and white photo on the mirror. Freelance designer, museum, and art gallery frequenter, art school graduate, will draw and design for food and shelter. Oh my gosh, maybe they could draw artwork for like something, maybe. Oh, there's like stories. Your free trial will start tomorrow. Yay. So this is the thing Freya published today. And if a double-decker bus crashes into us, to die by your side is such a heavenly way to die. And if a 10-ton truck kills the both of us, to die by your side, well, the pleasure, the privilege is mine. Morris's voice blasted from the old speaker of the car. Everyone in the car was singing along, and by everyone, I was talking about me and her. There were only two of us, two of us, and almost an empty highway. Do you consider dying by my side to be a heavenly way to die? She asked after the song finished, breaking the noisy silence of the car. That depends, I answered. It depends on what? Oh, how we die. I'm sure having a masked psychopath slowly mutilating us while we're holding hands won't be a pleasant experience. Then what kind of demise would you consider a heavenly way to die next to me? Hmm, that's hard. I'm pretty sure I'd prefer something that's not too painful, though. So us dying of old age together would be your heavenly way for us to die? Hey, hold on. We just started officially dating yesterday. Don't plan too far ahead. Ouch! What was that for? Meanie. Uh, I was just joking. Besides, I'd rather think about a heavenly way to live with you right now. And if you found any answers to that, look at me and then close your eyes. What? It, just do it. What? She closed her eyes. I leaned over, getting close to her face. Then for a moment that felt like a hundred years, we kissed. The speedometer was pointing to a hundred kilometers per hour, and the highway was almost empty. Almost. Oh! Oh! Oh, well, they're dead. What else do I have? Oh, do I have more stuff? Or no, I haven't done the cafe la cafe cafe latte. I guess. Oh, I just haven't checked it. Okay. Okay. Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. But I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Oh, so this is like pretty common. Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay, just tell me what are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Oh my gosh. So she was taking notes. Are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know? You can't get more different than that. I might get doxxed. I might get doxxed about my streaming career. 
I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? <laughs> no, you can't. Although you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> what? JK Lamau. I wouldn't do that to my lo loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway. I'm really excited to see who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Oh, it's the Georgie guy. From Tomoda Chill. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Banana Man, no need to be that formal with me. Ha <laughs> ha We're both on duty here. That's the formalities. You are you are as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. Got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomoda chill profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. What is my... Do y'all hear that? My iPad just was like, which audio app, whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're here. Okay, this is part of my I iPad suddenly reacted and was like, please let me know which iPad, which, which sound app you want to use to listen to whatever. <laughs> Oh, do I have do I have Siri on on my iPad like the the voice commands? What the heck? <laughs> Wait, how am I supposed to tell that you're lactose intolerant? Come on, Georgie, tell me. Okay, sweet healthy coffee. Coffee. Sweet. Like a mocha. Honey. Maybe. Is that healthy? I guess, I guess it, it is. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this competition as well as you. Thank you. Nice. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Bulb. A starless night sky for the green haired fairy. Oh, it's Freya, fairy? I always add honey in my coffee. I haven't done that. I don't think. Just bean water. She's human. Well, one way to find out. I'm not even sure where, whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. 
was making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Full it seriously. Get her share the details properly. You tell him. Or you tell him. She's secretly using her work hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least, not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Banana Man said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by your parents' company anyway. So technically I'm, technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to rust you. Hey, you do it all the time, too. These are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad? <laughs> what the heck? Banana Man. Banana Man's kind of savage. Oh my gosh. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. Ha ha ha. I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during work hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What, it'll, what it will be about. A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police, police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. Lamau. <laughs> I will definitely, definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me, eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. <laughs> hey, what do you have against me tonight? You already paid for your drink. I'm just here to vibe. <laughs> Banana Man is probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll dramatize most things I've heard of, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. And by the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. <laughs> No, no, no. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What? Really? Oh my gosh, Freya doesn't even remember. Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? He asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... 
I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. Hmm. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper? I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. No. Oh. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's coming, been coming to a coffee shop in an area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she has bright green hair. <laughs> True, though? True, though? <laughs> oh, come on! I was so excited to hear something about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Oh my gosh, let that sink in. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll are just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. More income for me because they have to order a drink every time they visit. Because I'm going to make that a policy now because or else I'm providing these stories for free. And uh, I mean, I could do that, but capitalize off that. Woo! <laughs> and then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. P.N. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures. Families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before. Romeo and Juliet. But it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers or clients. Helping her friend sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh my gosh, he's not late to his shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then, see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Gail Naiman or Maruki Harukami. <laughs> Wait, isn't that like a? Are, 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 <laughs> aren't these like authors, but like they just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they swapped it. <laughs> I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'm not, I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. 
And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Oh, you're just the best, Banana Man. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. Banana Man is so, so shoe. I mean, I'm not that mean. Or maybe I maybe I do get mean if I'm like really really close. But that's like friendly friendly bullying. Hmm, that should do for the experiment. Experiment? No, someone is coming. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Oh, that's the... This guy. And whoever Gala brought. Hi, banana man. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Ooh. Hmm, this is the place you recommend? You don't like it? That's fine. I know it's like not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but Gala, it's fine. Err, uh, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Anything with coffee and ginger. Uh, I guess coffee, coffee, ginger. Then. Did that work? Ja. I don't know how to pronounce this. Ja. Ja. Tu, tu brook. Ja. 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 ja Oh, there's no pronunciation on Google. Is it Jahi or Jahi? Jahe. Jahe to Brook. Thank you. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Good thing I don't have garlic. <laughs> Here's your order. Hmm. Good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. From what I've gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. I wonder how old... How old the vampire is. It's probably like 500 years old or something. Something random. What brings you to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for for a few weeks. You travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah. I think we met not not so long after you got married, right? Wait, they met after they got married. 
Or after... Oh, no, after... Oh! After Hyde got married. Oh, okay. It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken. The peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in... 18... 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met. Yeah. When it was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh... You're happy the bar closed down? Well, what's with a smile, if you don't mind? Nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? I certainly hope not. I have no recollection that the the past owner here was a VTuber. So I think I think I'm better off. I mean, what VTubing? What? What? what, what? I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about the new fan virus going viral. Oh yeah, in the newspaper? The hospital hospital has been extremely crowded. Oh, is he a he works at the hospital? I guess. Whoa, supermodel. Oh, a phone number. Vegan vampire. Oh, so I can't serve milk to this person. Right? No milk for for Hyde. Or not this person, this vampire. All right. Person? Vampire? Person? Individual. The hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? Wait, a vegan? Oh, wait. Wait, you're vegan, but you're a vi- Wait. Well... What, what do you call it? Vegan, vegan blood? <laughs> v vegan blood? No one is sure about that. But most people who come to in are just... I don't want to use this word. But they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I am still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. Heh. <laughs> to each their own. Anyway, I was wondering. Do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. We got Uber Eats. They can just order through the Blood Marketplace app. Oh my gosh, that was pretty close. Are you are you talking about Bloodlass? Uh-huh. Uber bleeds. Bloodlass <laughs> Bloodlass gets their supply from the hospital? They can certify blood on their own. Only hospitals and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. 
Use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? Oh, just trying. Just started. But I do know the founder of this startup. Oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? It's not easy. Easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Oh, so they are fine without blood. Excuse me for asking, but go by going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain. But basically, some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Well, trying to make it affordable means... What do you call it? Proving to them that there's a enough of an audience so trying to be one of them, right? Oh, model cash? True. Supermodel. Would synthetic blood taste good if mixed with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do try experimenting with... Other things. <laughs> uh, is this, is this safe to... Is this safe? Other things? Oh. It's, oh, it's just booze. Oh, okay. Mostly booze. Oh, whoa, it's not safe! <laughs> it's not safe! But I know some mix it with not-so-legal substances. Hey, you know a lot. I work in the hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded you- Reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury. Find a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. Oh, Gala's like a werewolf, right? I think. But I do know what- I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes. I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in the coffee for it to be a remedy. Why don't you use the furry sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative is too... general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. Oh, so it's like... It's not very... Friendly for... Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Uki just sent me like a... Like... Like a eyes... Eyes emoji thing. <laughs> Wait, did I say furry? I meant fury. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. But sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. Oh, so I guess... Not changing into... Uh... The... I guess Fury would be the the wolf form, right? And then they'll go crazy, so... It's enough to calm Gala down. Alright. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some well werewolves need to do... 
Whoa! Vine boom. Vine boom stuff to soothe themselves during their, their fury. What kind of vine boom? Like, vine boom! That only happens in vine boom! Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your, at, your leg. Damn. I mean, having Vine Boom as a calming method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing Vine Boom stuff during the fur Fury. Exactly. So continuing with your story. How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know is it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. Oh, like ginger tea? Maybe. Better write that down. Oh, me? Uh, wait, I, ha I have a few attempts in the in the coffee machine, right? I think I have like some trash cans. You don't want him wrecking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today, but the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, your phone. I'm sorry. I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. I think they're here for like two weeks, right? Oh, five attempts total. Uh, oh, that's the trash can times five. Okay. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. Oh, more? Oh, wait, never mind. You're back? Wait, why did you ring the, the thing? Weren't you sitting at the corner? Hey. Oh wait, no! Oh, it's the sound of them leaving. That's the door. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm dumb. Anyway, are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys. Kind of reminds me of this video I saw online. I prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, th that video, Vine Boom. <laughs> what? What video did you think I was talking about? You know... Uh-oh. Uh, never mind! <laughs> you... I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. <gasps> no. What? 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 Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep. Yes. Please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume? Oh, don't you worry. I'll be here tomorrow. I will be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way to back. The way to that way back. <laughs> Lemony snippet. Oh, lemon.
freaking emotional damage. What? Oh my gosh, I still can't speak properly. September 24th. Whoa. Uh, despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Oh. Actually, I'm assuming this is some kind of music group. Vlogging is now part of curriculum at some private high schools. Vlogging. Stop workplace racial profiling. Oh. The Orkish Workers Union. Oh, okay. I guess they're... Oh, the orcs are being... Mmm. Okay. Whoa! Welcome. Yo. Cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Milk. Honey. That's all I need, right? Yep. Yep. Huh? More honey? Or, wait, no. Milk, milk, honey. Wait, milk, honey, honey? I feel like that's too sweet, right? Milk, milk, honey. Yeah, okay, let's, let's do milk, milk, honey. There we go. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, banana man. Seems like there's a cat. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, she got in with me! Relax. It's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Look at the bell and the tail. Want some milk? Whoa! A... What you, you, you call those, uh... A bucket nickel? Are we... Are we talking about chilling? Hi, barista. Yes, I love some milk. Holy... You look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I mean... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw a Neko Mimi transforming. Oh, that's what they're calling it? Neko Mimi? We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have many Neko Mimi friends. I won't say I have. Uh, you folks usually use your fe feline, fe feeling, thought, fe I forgot what that was. How do you pronounce this word? Feline. Feline. Feline f forms to commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical than commuting as a hum. I mean, than commuting in a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue. Can I have my milk, please? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No, milk and nothing else. Milk, milk, milk. Oh my gosh. Banana Man spent the time to put it through the... Through the... Espresso machine? Oh my gosh. He like... Made like... <laughs> huh? Can I have some milkies, please? Oh no. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. No. Fresh milk for the lady with a pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? How do you know their age? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. 
It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? You don't remember? Wait, what? Did they say their age? It's not here. Is Freya just old? I don't know. Oh, there it is. I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Alright. You don't look like a grown-up. Whoa. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I call you too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you, for sure. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One sec, one sec, one sec. One sec, one sec. I forgot to say this earlier. All right. We shall resume. Well, I'm not an old lady like you for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. Whoa, from what? So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Er, uh, I don't. Oh my, are you, are they a celebrity? Just say it. If this is something illegal, wait, 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 or if you are in danger, wait, wait, what happened? What happened? What? It? What? It? Or if you are in danger, and blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media. I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. <laughs> snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What? Too broke for a cup of coffee? Ha 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 ha. Hello, She's not that great for business now. Uh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So, what do you want to order? The usual. Okay. Does something happen if I don't brew her... Uh... Espresso. Your espresso is ready. Hmm. As good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Or was it was it the the pop group that disbanded? Oh, this is just Where's the news? Are you Rachel Florencia? Oh, the super... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The member of Super Smiles who just graduated. And started her solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? You're literally sitting. <laughs> you're you're the you're the most attracted out of them all. I mean Anyway, well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit to drink milk. 
no less. Yay. Achievement unlocked. Oh my gosh, there's a Steam achievement that's just achievement unlocked <laughs> when she says that. That's funny. No, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you know. The usual young folks' problems. I had a fight with my father. And so, here I am. Nah. I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn to a cat. That's pretty convenient. Now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad. We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. Mm. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? Oh, I, yeah, I expected that. <laughs> she passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Oh, I'm Georgie. Good evening, banana man. Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, banana man. Yes, officer. I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Green tea with lemon and honey. Wait, is this green tea? No, this is green tea. Lemon and honey. Brew. Cough syrup. Wait, it's just cough syrup? Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Er, cough syrup? <laughs> <laughs> he was so surprised. He was like, Ooh. Of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn. This is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually... I witnessed something scary on my ship today. Tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear it? Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was... My salary. Seriously? Yeah, today is payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, and the labor union protest, everything is fine there. Oh yeah, the orcs are protesting. Oh wait, isn't this this orc, this per, this this individual an orc? How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey, thanks. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm getting back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Oh, is this awkward? <laughs> I hope it's not. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. <laughs> Who the hell is that? She just sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that when you're that here when you're writing. Hey, let's see. Any Tomoda chill updates? Oh, look at that! 
the whole group. Oh. But this group disbanded, right? Or like they lost one? Or like she's on her solo career. Father of three beautiful girls. Oh. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. Is this smoking bad for sore, th sore throats? Or I don't even know, actually. Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. But you're underage, right? H how did you know? You can read minds now, old man? I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all of your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop. That is that is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. Now yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Yes. I have my... My... My fists. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course, this is the safest place around here. I hate that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> what? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know! You're a father yourself! Oh. Right. Guys. You know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya? She has good hearing. Oh, like cat, cat things? Neko Mimi things? That should help her protect herself. Anyway, miss. Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? Oh, is my fire hiding it? I'm gonna... Is that better? Or, or wait, no. One sec. Oh, the sink! Uh... That, 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 uh... Huh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, 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 ah. Okay. <laughs> As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. Oh, oh, oh. Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought with- I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we, be we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among... AMONG! Countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No. Before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Hmm. Nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. 
but you gotta understand each other better. And as much as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone, even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments, but your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's impossible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this has happened a lot, but why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away, using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. <laughs> yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous than any relationship. I kind of understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. What and how did this happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Georgie is a good dad. I could see it, yeah. Maybe I should run even far further. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Ooh. That's deep. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now... Now, I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I had to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But... You don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? Old man. Of course I will. I should drive you home too. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? It's raining outside and you're biking? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Banana Man and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Banana Man. Right in the rain, biking? Well, I guess you can just leave your bike behind. So, you just have to grab it. And you might as well ride it if you have it. And there they went. Yes. I would bike in the rain. I guess some people would. But I'm like the type of person who would like always have an umbrella. I hate the rain. I'd bring it everywhere. Even though like... Even if the chance of rain is like 20%, I would still bring one. <laughs> you can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. 
Y'all like rain? Well, one time I... What do you call it? It wasn't rain, but... I rode a, like, a water ride... In a amusement park. And then... I couldn't dry my clothes properly, and I got hypothermia. So I'm like... I think I hate, hate getting wet outside. In general. So I'm just like, not, not again. <laughs> Man. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. Well... At least you made your deadlines. What did, what did I get? Oh yeah, cough syrup. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay, then. Take care. Be careful on your way home. All right. Masala chai. Oh. Bunch of drinks. Wait, I'm just trying to remember. Gala wanted tea and ginger. Ginger tea. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to come today, but. Whoa. Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedative. Oh. Illegal fury sedatives? Oh. Orcish worker union in talks with the government over their pleas. Rap group Street Orchestra question over their pro eco terrorism lyrics. Dang. Why is it illegal? Probably the the process or something, probably. Oh. Good evening, Miss Ride. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala's coming. After his shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. Heh. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our. Our? Oh. When obviously, there's only you here. Oh. Wait, is this like a... Secret? Oh, never mind. I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm. Do you have any blood? Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on, did you think I was serious? No. Nah, give me some ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Ginger green tea. Wait, wait, wait. Warm and bitter. Very warm and bitter. This is as warm and as bitter as it gets, I think. Bop. Nice. Your drink is ready. Let's see. Good. Glad you like it. 
By the way, if you don't mind it, my asking, ask away. You said you're here for work? Oh yeah, the supermodel stuff, right? Tomodachil. Part of Lost, Lost Angels. Wait, LA? Lost Angels? Old enough, yet still seeking the truth and purpose of life. Oh, I thought LA was like Los, Los Angeles. Not Lost Angels Agency. What's, what's CP? No. Singer, dancer, model, and your favorite girl next door. Okay. You said you're here for work? Yes. For a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... Hmm. What's the word? Is it tempting because of the blood? Oh, cell phone. Oh, okay. Something as honorable as that. Oh, okay. Oh, contact person. Oh. No, it's not caught pee. <laughs> it's not caught pee. Hmm? Then... Are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. But that's what all criminals say. I mean, it's not an evil job per se, but definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? Guess. You travel a lot, more or less. You befriended a startup founder. So I assume you have your own startup, or you work in some kind of investment agency. Heh. <laughs> I used to. Oh, they used to. But not anymore. This, that startup founder, he's just a friend. Then, what do you do? I've had many carrier paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. I didn't expect that. But you have the looks and the figure. So I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products. No way. Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. Sheesh. Sheesh. Skin paler is paler than an elf's, but we don't have those annoying pointy ears, which makes us basically a bunch of good-looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Isn't that false advertising? Heh. <laughs> don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. Never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> not long in vampire standards. 30 years. Wow. Ah. Dropped stuff. My desk. There's so much stuff on my desk. Okay. Wow. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I mean, if Keanu can do it. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little li livelier. 
you don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. You say I'm a regular here. How's the attitude? Hey. You look very happy. Any special occasion? No, nah, nothing. This is my def default state, Pog. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about, Pog? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy... 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. Am I currently as in... Is, Li liaison? I don't know how to pronounce that word. And the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually I work until it's the grandchild. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? That's okay. But I'm stuck and in need of a warm drink. So brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Oh. Without coffee? You want cough syrup? <laughs> or I guess. Oh, it has to be warm. Warm. Uh, oh, maybe I could try to get the tea... Warm and sweet. Uh, a bit bitter. Wait, which is bitter? Warm and sweet. Wait, wait. Okay, warm and sweet. No. Uh, without coffee. Go for tea, I guess. Wait, no. What's what's the what's the warmest? Okay, so tea is the warmest. Sweet. Uh, it's not sweet enough, right? Mmm. That's very bitter. Wait, the ginger introduces bitterness, right? Sweet. No. That's cool. Warm. Sweet. Yeah. Or? Uh. Uh. So this one is green tea, lemon, honey. That's very bitter. Warm and sweet without coffee. Maybe. Wait, have I done that before? No, I haven't. I guess it is. Warm and sweet. Give it a give it a go, honey tea. Warm sweet drink ready. Nice. Oh nice. A perfect drink to end the day. Glad you like it. So, you're a writer? Yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers. But I'm also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Nah, uh, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever manages to finish it. 
Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of Life. Woo! My favorite anime. So not fantasy or sci-fi? Mmm, I'm still not sure. Sci-fi slice of life? Probably, it'll be normal slice of life. You'll have a tough competition. With anime, you're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a root in a world where only humans exist. Heh. <sighs> Sounds a bit racist. And that's the twist. This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past our, the differences. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. Dang. I assure you of that. That doesn't really sound all that funny. Eh, hey, it's fantasy. That's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what ifs. Hehehe. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. Oh, another customer. Oh, is it uh Gala? Oh, it's Lua. Hi, everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I needed an escape from my coworkers, so I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Oh, that's what that means? Is everything okay? Oh, what's that phone? What was that phone? To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink, then. Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. And a cup of green tea latte, please. Okay. Wait, why was I- why, why was I concerned about green tea- green tea latte? Oh, shoot. Coffee, coffee, coffee. In case you didn't get it the first time, I'm a big fan of Naiman and Harukami, so there's that. Oh yeah, I wonder if, for, why Freya didn't want coffee today. Yes. Uh, what I'm doing with my life. Working as a journalist because it's the best way to learn how to write better, talk to people who have experienced more than you, and get paid for learning things. Oh, that's cool. Okay. We shall get... Green tea latte. Green tea. Milk, milk. Oh, Bailey's had a sus latte? Oh yeah, that's true. Uh... Here you go. Miku latte. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
Your green tea latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why. But I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like, this drink feels really heartwarming. Call me pretentious. But I think that... But I think drinks have the power... To connect people's hearts. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey's. Has he visited this place again? After our last meeting. He hasn't, right? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Oh. What's his phone about? Hmm. Or I guess maybe it's just... Uh... Was it... Was his name again? Gala? Calling? Oh, more stuff. Oh, the... Language, language. Uh, favorite things. Lover of the bright moonlight. Believer... Lover of the bright moonlight? Is that... Is that an elf thing? I don't know. Believer in a life without a fight. I'm a big fan of art and poetry. Oh, just poetry. Working 9 to 5 in a trading company by day, going to poetry readings and museums on the weekends, enraptured by the forbidden fruit. Forbidden fruit? Okay. I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Please don't worry about that. Who's this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? Bailey's is, or was, I don't know, my boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Hey, it's okay. I'm to just ask her like that. You tell me. Dude, I'm just the customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. Hmm. The usual racial problems, then. Psst. Show some matters, old man. What? I'm just following up on the question you started. It's alright. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close, and usually they're supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf, they fear that I'll be treated like a... like a peasant. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times, I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising. Mm. That his family would disagree with the relationship. You don't sound the, like the most succubi I know. Oh, you don't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we have for the last 10 years. 10 years? So you've been together for 10 years as a couple, and he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years. That was without family familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want our relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem then? It's not that simple. Will his family disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you even if he has to leave his family. Yes. Problem solved then? Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. It's not that simple! Oh! The drama... Drama... Panels again. I don't want to be held responsible. If he regrets his decision one day, abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me was a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua, 
Did you ever think about the risks when you start dating him? Yes. No. Maybe a little bit. We didn't think it would get this far. Heh. <sighs> From what I can't see, you're the problem here. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him. Family approval. If you're asking for racial reconciliation, you might as well ask for wor world peace. Oh man, stop talking. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Bailey's? I love him. Of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish. Because I can't do the same for him. The phone's ringing. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know? Some are. Not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No. They always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go on in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. Oh my gosh. Hyde is showing... Tell me you're, you're a sophisticated boomer without being a sophisticated boom... Without saying you're a sophisticated boomer. And you choose which one is the best for you. Pretty simple. I... I'm sorry. I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always run aw runs away. But thank you for the advice. Take care on your way, Miss Ms. Lua. I will. Bye. Man, I hope it's it's all well in the end. I mean, it's not a fairy tale as Hyde said, but you're super harsh, old man. Heh. <laughs> but you agree with me, don't you? Well, you didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself, anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. Oh. Well, speak of the... Werewolf. Oh, there he is. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated, stated facts. Partially. To someone that needed it. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folk, folks tell me about what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Do you m remember my fur furry remedy? I mentioned it, I mentioned it a couple of days ago. The one with, one with ginger, ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure. Should I try mixing the ginger with tea? Oh, it tells me. Yes. Tea, ginger, and I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You know when you get it right. All right. Tea, ginger, and... Milk? No, no. Wait, but it says you'll know if I get it, right? Is that the one? I mean, at least it didn't trash. Uh... 
Uh, right, I'll just try serving it. I'm not. I'm not here for a perfect run anyway. Let's try this one. Thank you, banana man. Hmm. Close. But I don't think this is it. Oh, okay. What's missing? Next time, try switching the milk and the ginger. Oh, does order matter? Oh. Okay. Will do. Thanks. You got backseated, Lamount. <laughs> Oh yeah, on the on the what do you call it? The machine, there's like layers, right? So I guess the ginger was supposed to be in the top layer. Wait, but does that Oh I I got something. I got the Oh, is it not a official recipe? It was just like a random one? It's not even in my repertoire here. It's just not there. Okay, now I'm ready for the story. So tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller teller than me. All right, so there's this girl. Okay. And that's about it. Hide, oh hide. You never change, do you? Oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now? Dude, honesty is good and all, but you know, Try not to be a dick. I'll listen to her, Hyde. She's got a good point. <laughs> good point. Good point. <sighs> not you too. I was a bit surprised though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. You do know me. We've been friends for a year. We've been friends. We've been for the. I got the wrong person. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does not have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic. Judging from the reaction I received today, you may be right. But there are better th ways to say what you have in mind. Oh yeah, wordings, you know? Anyway, I've got to go. So soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. I like the trio. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think these three are pretty chill. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. Oh, just wanted to hang. Seriously? I thought that story from Freya was enough. Fill your daily dose of interaction. Oh my gosh, it's hide one of those people being like, All right, we're hanging today. Come over here at this time. <laughs> they just want to hang. Well, it was something indeed. Hmm. You, says, you said something about being my friend for years. Yes, why? Do you ever wonder what it, we'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? Oh yeah, wasn't there some kind of like werewolf and vampire like interracial conflict or whatever? They signed a thing in 1860s, but I'm sure the 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 boomer boomers still like remember the back in my day when we first signed this treaty. I used to be very upset about this one werewolf back in my day, you know. That kind of deal. Forget it. Wait, what? What did you say? 
Maybe it's something along those those lines. I don't know. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Oh, all right, Banana Man. Thanks for the evening. The pleasure was mine. Bye. <laughs> what was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Care for another drink to end the day? Heh. <laughs> sure. Oh, I could do the tea. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Huh? I wanted to try the remedy. Man. Maybe next time, right? Tea, tea, milk, ginger. Hmm. Mm -mm. Atlantic countries plead for landfolk to send help instead of trash. <laughs> wow, that's that's a headline. Opinion: Who watches The Watchmen in Seattle? Cats are the best creatures on Earth. Research has proven. Woo, cats! Woo, cats! Okay. Well, that's kind of... Also, kind of... I guess it's kind of... W would that be... No, that, that wouldn't be... That wouldn't be racist in this context, right? Right? I, I can't tell. I don't- I don't live there. Welcome- Oh. Oh my gosh! Among Us! Um, welcome. Hello oh. there. Wait, wrong one. <laughs> wrong one, sorry. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Ah, the usual Earthling linguistic problem. Never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Wait, why is this? My megaphone is extra crus cr crispy today for some reason. Wait, wait. I think it's a little too crispy. Let me let me see if I could uncrisp it a little. Anything, sir? Oh, yes. We have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's the points finger emoji. What do you recommend? Uh, I recommend uh, something that you could drink through your helmet. So probably air. We will not be able to taste a difference anyway. Oh, what do you mean? Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Wait, really? Really? Oh my gosh, I did the same same <laughs> I did the same response as the the Among Us. That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order anything. Anything? Anything. Oh, let's try the... Oh, I have cinnamon now. But let's try the... The, the, the remedy. 
See if I could get that. Gala had. Oh, it even has Gala's name on it. It's for Gala. Ah, good to calm yet wa warm your nerve. Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. Don't worry, it will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. <laughs> the finger. <laughs> they really said finger point emoji. Um. Yes. Oh, um, nothing. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir? Yes? Why did you put your finger in the drink? That is a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Oh, yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Usually, a polypropylene drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Pardon? Oh, it's like a straw? It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean a straw? Yes, we wonder why Earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick up apparatus provide was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest single use pollutants on your on your planet. Hmm. Anyway. How do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did. But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus. We do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making process. I see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? It wouldn't be too complicated to tell you all the details. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. Mission? Doing your tasks? <laughs> what kind of mission? Find what the Earthlings call a female. And then? So you came from a faraway place to find a date? Date. Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. Uh... I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Again, your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Uh, don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. Earthlings really need to work on their communication. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. Of all the places we have been to this method, this place has the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. So... 
<laughs> Can't argue with that. The way we use PogChamp and Omega Lol and Sus to communicate with each other, you know. Kind of weird. <laughs> kind of weird, champ. So how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using this unique communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. We what? Is it like Tinder or something? Although the success rate of breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I've never heard about... Wait. Are you talking about a dating app? The system is the fire symbol as their sign! You are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. Contradictions. <laughs> what do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. Uh... And when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. It didn't go well, I assume? Most of them start communicating with very big letters on the communication platform, and they said some words that cannot be considered proper. I... I don't know what to say about that. But he said, most of them? Some of them actually did not get mad? Oh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. But some did? Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings. Even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our data to, to our database. This coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places? Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone. Yes. But she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each earthling also has different interpretations of time. You're right about that. I like how, oh, I like how the, the space among us calls us all earthlings. That's like a, that's like a blanket term for, or like that's like an umbrella term for all, all the people, all the different like earthlings still, right? Like when we, we think of earthlings, we think of just humans. Right. Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Cafe latte, please. Cafe latte. Milk, milk. Uh, let's see. Um... Maybe I should... Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. What should I draw? What should I draw? Oh, wait. Oh, no. I thought the gravity was the other way. Oh, this is hard. Alien. <laughs> yeah, 
Here we go. Bug was bended. <laughs> Your order is ready, miss. Thank you. How's it? Good. Glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. Yes? Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But, is your name Rukhai69? Oh, my god. <laughs> is this guy sane? Please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. So, you have not answered our question. Are you Rukai 69? No. My name is Myrtle, and I never use Rukai 69 anywhere. Oh. You really are not her. Of course I'm not! Seriously, men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to the club or something? But we don't have any friends on Earth. Ooh. <sighs> hey, when you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up to now, they're not from this planet. Man. Pardon us for interrupting, but when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting, like this club about space exploration. They call themselves Chuckies. Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Mm. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she, if she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. objective people, but somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. This has happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to breed? <laughs> No, 
No. <laughs> The most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never ceases, ceases to amaze us. If that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please. Just call me Banana Man. <laughs> thank you for your time, Banana Man. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called Norm, by the way. The, uh, breeding norms. Although you can also use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay then, we are off. Take care on your way. No. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Burp. I wish there was a way to just have like audio playing for like every single video game that ever exists regardless of like it being tabbed in or not but oh well um <laughs> where were we oh yeah the astronaut I wonder if any of the drinks would like cause the astronaut to like malfunction Like, I'll feed it, like, pure honey. <laughs> or, like, or, like, bad, bad drinks. Wait, am I? Let me move a little bit more. Wait, oh. Oh, okay. Whoa, boy, who the hell is that? Oh, hi there, Freya. What is that astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Like, uh, the duck? A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? The date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the- Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit before- First before going on the date? I mean, showing off your job is pretty common. But it doesn't have to be, like, be that literal, you know? I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Oh, uh, what do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Like, Englishman in New York alien or alien alien? Alien alien. Outer space? Probably. Or other dimensions. I don't know. Wow. 
like super wow among us wow i mean i know you get a lot of different visitors here but wow life is never boring here that's why i'm writing about it oh yeah how's it going so far the writing yes the writing with capital t and w it's going pretty well actually nice may i see it oh my gosh <laughs> the pa What do you mean? Oh yeah, did I get Tomoda chills? Oh, they're a programmer. Oh, look at that! Game programmer. Working on Full Metal Conflict series. This is cute. Look at that. Oh shoot. Oh, Rachel changed her profile to her solo. That's, that's kind of a... Nice detail. That's nice. Now they're solo for sure. Everything else seems pretty standard, I think. What do you mean? Can I read that the draft you've written so far? No. Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident in confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft. So you're planning to show it all along. Hee hee hee. I wasn't sure about it. It was the first presentable draft anyway. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. Alright, alright. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. Now, will you hand it over? <laughs> um, it's okay, Freya. Oh, here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. Oh, all right. Me reading. I'm reading. I'm reading. I'm reading. How's it? How's it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? Oh, I'm not done yet. I'm reading, I'm reading. Hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character... Oh my, is the main character badly written? Is me? No, oh, <laughs> It's Banana Man. It's Banana Man. I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. Ugh. You have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Prime example? You? You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Mysterious? How mysterious? Wait. I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. <gasps> Whoa! It's like a sea person. Welcome. Would you like to drink here or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding? I'll order right away. No need to hurry, take your time. Hmm. Is it okay if if I order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like. As long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case. Do you know masala chai? The tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order a masala chai then, please. Masala chai! Uh Tea, ginger, cinnamon? I... I... 
I think. Let's give it a go. No! Tea ginger cinnamon. Or is it in my thing this whole time? No. Ah, right, there we go. Nice. I believe this is the drink you were talking about. From the looks of it, I think so. Let's give it a taste. This... Is it bad, miss? Oh, no. It's really good. It just brought back some memories. I hope they're good ones. Oh, they certainly are. They certainly are. Huh? Where were we? The main character. The character feels very... You. You bet. If the readers know me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure. Why not? Oh, does the order matter? Yeah, the order matters. Uh, for... The drinks. Sure, why not? It sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. If you say so. Uh, sorry. Hmm? Did you say something? Yes, sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only s write small s small scale fiction, short stories for the newspaper, or nonfiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Hey. Wow. How many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book if I finish it. I always wanted to be a fiction writer, but conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. Conjuring words is hard. Do they do other other stuff, I guess? I'm a writer and even even I can't use complex words like conjure like you just did. A lot of people have said that my vocabulary is uncommon. Oh, is she part of the rap group in the newspaper? What do you do? What's your name again? Uh, pardon me. My name is Aqua. Hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. And the barista here is Banana Man. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. Sam, so, what do you do? Um, oh, never mind. They just research. I'm a researcher at a university. I also make games in my free time. Oh, are they the? Wasn't there like a someone that's like indie dev, right? That was a uh... someone who was an indie dev. I'm trying to remember. This person also is a game programmer. Wasn't someone like a... Oh. Weren't they related to... Like, wasn't there someone who was like... Oh, is it Hyde? I, I don't I don't remember. Oh, well. I also make games in my free time. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know? Thanks. You said you can't write, but research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. But it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. 
Not something the media would cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my, I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Come on, you don't even have to worry so much about everything. It's all right. Excuse me for interrupting. Yes? You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It was pretty important for this project we're working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Oops, I'm sorry, I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the thing you work think you worked on. I love that series so much. My name is Aqua, by the way. I bet you already knew that. My name is Myrtle. Er, what do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Ah, oh, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude you intrude on your discussion any further. But could I ask for your business card or something? Me and some, some friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted queries through your department's contact form, but haven't received any replies. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should expect that. I don't have my card with me right now, but um, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. The Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about. Is that the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. Oh my gosh, it's like the Mario movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's the Mario movie. They have the budget for the flashy visuals, but I doubt they'll do the series justice. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way, and some stories can only be told through this medium. And FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of games you might see in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play arty games are gamers who got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence, a lot of players are not gamers. And they're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. Oh my gosh. Uh, sorry, I rambled on for too long. A lot of game gamer talk here. But at least that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I play the, those type of games uh, thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of an artsy hipster, you know? Nailed it. So you understand my point about the adaptation, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home. We can walk through the bus stop together, if you want. I hope it doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Miss Myrtle is fine. And of course it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Banana Man. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, I guess the game had no way to tell, but Aqua just says Banana Man, not Mr. Banana Man. <laughs> not formal to Banana Man. That's fine, that's fine, I, that, that's fine too. And you, and you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. 
You take care on your way, right? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. Yeah, I'm first name basis. <laughs> so, yes. That was a nice talk. But you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet. And I could see that you were reading it on and off. Well, it's kind of good. <laughs> Seriously? And that's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes. Really? You're mysterious. That much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Oh. Actually has a list of, like, toxic things to say. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short, and I'll be really honest about it. A uh, hide moment? Well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. Ah. All right, I think I'll do one more day. Ooh. Sour and cool with the hint of home. September 27th. Researcher found that most Fury sedative on the market are not safe. Oh my gosh, I should show them mine. Profile. Morris Lester from Slum to Glam. Pajama clad 27 year old actuary found decapitated on his own bed. Oh my gosh. Freaky. What's on the thing? Oh, the masala chai. Do you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order one. I'll order again. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay, then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. Mmm. Oh, man. Oh, she's back. Oh, Aqua. Fancy seeing you again so soon. Hi, Freya. Hi, Banana Man. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old? I'm good. How about you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Oops. I asked that already. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Relatable. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? So far, it's only me and Banana Man. We have you with us now. We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting here? Uh, meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering whether she, she's coming here again tonight. You have your her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me when, whenever I want to talk to someone. Oh my gosh, using emails to meet with someone in 2020? That's when you know this world's a different place. That's when you know. I check my email once... Like, every two or three days. <laughs> That's when you know. Eh, that wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions her team sent yes sent today. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway, I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's all right. I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon, please. Cup of tea with lemon. Ooh, what's this? I got mint. Nice. Tea with lemon and cinnamon. 
I think it should be just this order, right? Russian tea. Oh, you get five tries per per day or something. Here we go. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once. I'm pretty sure the only part that's Russian is the name. Oh yeah, it's like Hawaiian pizza. It was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. Well, that's a highly specific fun fact to know. I guess I spent too much time browsing the internet. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> when did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you la you left last night. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Finished drinking first, Aqua. I'm sorry. I said you haven't left? I was just joking. Oh. That would be crazy. Why? Oh, no. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Banana Man. Please make sure you get enough... I keep on laughing at... Aqua saying Banana Man. <laughs> I don't know what... I don't know what it is with just... It's it's just Aqua saying Banana Man. That's just so funny. <laughs> I don't know. Make sure you get enough rest. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Where do you come from? Because, judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? Oh! I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa, so you're a full-fledged full oceanic? Born and raised in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. <laughs> oh, wait. The, the, Y'all think that's a, that's a British? Is it Aussie? I don't know. What accent is that? The terrible Shuyamino accent that nobody knows what exactly it is. What? This is Shuyamino terrible accent. The option select accent that Shuyamino does because his repertoire of accents are so limited. Clearly oceanic. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You moved moved with your family? No, I'm the only one who can move here. Oh, may I know why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know. I give up on the accent, but my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. Do you know how hard it is for my people to get a US visa? I'm sorry to hear that. Wait, did I miss something? Two years. It's okay. We're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Aww. Do you have siblings? Of course. We are sea people. Oh my gosh. Aqua would have like 2,000 siblings. Unless, unless they're like Nemo or something. My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa. That's a lot. You really have that many relatives? Hee hee hee. Of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you count my grandpa's grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Holy! How about you, Freya? 
Do you have any siblings? I have. Not as many as you, I assume. <laughs> I have a little brother. Four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? No. He's living in San Francisco. Near our parents' house. He's the good kid, and I'm the rebel. Working some high-end tech job. While taking care of my dad on the weekends. Aww. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. Aww. This pose. I know. Anyway. I want to order something. Another espresso? You know, the usual. Alright then. Your espresso is ready. Thanks. Bitter! Just the way I love it. Oh, this. <gasps> is that the dad of uh Rachel? Oh shoot. The summary. A mermaid from Atlantis and a friendly introvert tea lover. Full metal conflict video games in general. Grandma. Aw. Moved to Seattle to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can. Trying to find the place and person where I belong while doing something I love. Aw. Is this Rachel's dad? Good evening, sir. Good evening. How can I help you, sir? Ah, yes. Hmm. I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Hmm. 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 Nothing you like on nothing you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMJ? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. If you can t tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. I think, no, he's talking about the group, right? Oh, lucky me. Oh, wait, oh, wait, no, this is a, wait, what? STMJ stands for Susu Telor Madu Jahi. It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Understood. Milk, egg, honey, ginger. Wait, do you have the eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf. But I'll add egg once I mix the rest of the ingredients. I'd love that. One cup of STMJ, please. Uh... Milk, egg, honey, ginger. Okay, milk. Okay, milk. Honey. Ginger. And I add the egg? Huh? Huh? Wait, okay. Oh, wait, do I serve it first and then add the egg? Milk? Hmm? Oh, milk. Oh, should I do milk, ginger, honey? Milk, ginger, honey. Brew. Oh, there it is. Nice. Here's your, here's your STMJ, sir. Oh, that smell. It brings back so many memories. It's quite difficult to find a place with proper STMJ here in the States. I've traveled to so many places. And no, none of them got it right. You're the first one to manage it. Excuse me, may I ask you girls something? Sure, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Kids? <laughs> Excuse me? Aren't you college students? Um, no, we're not. Oh! Teleports behind you. I see. 
May I ask how old you are? Uh, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. Hey, banana man. I just... Who's this pervy old man? I want to... I have no idea. It's his first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? Do you mean him? Yes, but not so loud. This man here is Rachel's dad, Freya. Ah, uh, knew it. He asked to meet me, so I told him to come here. Oh. I know that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. No wonder she ran away from home. Oh. Everyone, please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Banana Man. Please call me Hendry. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yes. Oh, wasn't he part of the showbiz too? And you're Rachel Florencia's father? Yes. Furlong? Florencia? Why do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Florencia was my late wife's maid maiden's name. Oh, I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Freya. Okay, I think I better work on my novel. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Uh, Freya, I'll come with you. Anyway, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? It's about Rachel. That night when you drove her home. Was she hanging out with shady people? Banana Man's kind of shady. Well... I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard that! That's... <laughs> Freya's self-aware. <laughs> what? I'm not a criminal. I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Banana Man here. She wasn't in, da she wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Do you know VTubers? <laughs> Do you know VTubers? <laughs> Every time we talk, we, en we ended up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space, but be there when they need you. Or you can just bribe them. One time I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and bought her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then, I just waited for her to take the bait, just like a steakout. When she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. The pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. Oh, so Hendry needs a pizza. Right? What if... What if she loves doing... What if what she loves doing is the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young. But the entertainment industry isn't a kind of place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't, and I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed? Or forced to do drugs? Did something happen? 
well, nothing happened. Nothing's happened yet. Oh, uh, he's a overprotective parent, I guess. Especially, I think he's emotionally unstable after after a lost one. All right. I just feel it in my guts. Is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I don't know. Maybe. Psst. Banana man. I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. Kind of like Merlin to Nemo. Wait, actually... Actually true. This is Nemo. Well, can't you just find another manager? R Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit. But every time I brought it up, we just ended up fighting. As a parent, there's really nothing much we can do. Other than, other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Why don't you become the manager? Uh, f was was their name? Fur. Oh, Hendry. <gasps> oh, the baby picture. It's kind of cute. Uh, sooner or later, we have to trust them to make their own decisions. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully, they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I can do a back account check on that manager. If that will ease your mind. Please do. <laughs> background checking on this flip phone? Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Last name, Lester. Wait. <laughs> this name kind of sus. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know if this is like a... paper oh isn't he the guy in today's paper anyway I'll let you know if there's a hit he was in the paper hold on I gotta take this I've just got a call I've got to go I'd love to talk more about about this with you let's meet again soon wait you have my contact details call me if you ever need my help Wait. Don't worry. I'm sure everything will be all right. I used to manage a girl band. Oh, he used to be a manager. I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yeah. I was against her joining that pop group at first. But my wife, Rachel's mom... She convinced me to give it a chance. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff. I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling in a solo, sing solo singing career is a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz. But things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived being an idol, even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Did you think so? She's not ready. I don't want her to get hurt. There are a lot of bad people out there. People that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might get, you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. 
I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best, though? I think she's born to soar. Oh, um, he just need he just needs some confirmation that she's safe, and it should be all good, right? But, but she's just a girl, my little girl. Seriously, that's your argument? I didn't mean to sound that way. It doesn't matter whether she's a boy or girl. You'll drive her away if you keep acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to to help her achieve her dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I, I'd love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer, Banana Man? Take all the time you need. Hmm. All right then. I guess, is this where I would? I think this is a good place to stop, right? Oh, I mean, let me take a look at this first and then I should be able to save, right? Uh, military personnel stationed along East Coast to prevent immigrants from flooding into the... Flooding in from the Atlantic. Oh. Immigration control. Oh, I guess this is like Aqua's thing. Strict immigration stuff. The visas. Werewolf, werewolf representatives pushed the ministry for more accessible sedative. Oh, yeah, the sedative stuff. And doctor from Salak Town arrested for experimenting with child cloning. Oh, cloning. Okay. All right. I'll save here. All right. That was a that was a good place to call it. Thank you for the stream. I think part two will be sometime next week. Yo, I was I was letting that letting it sink in so so often, you know. Letting that sink in, letting all these ideas sink in. It, it makes you think. Right? <laughs> but yeah, part two. I do want to do a part two. Probably next week. Uh, Maybe the day after Halloween. Or whenever I, I can, I think. I do want to give it a give it a part two for sure. But yeah, that's all from for me today. Uh I do have some streams tomorrow. I have a couple of streams tomorrow. Uh I have Mojipitan with Yugo and Last Command with Lyra. But yeah, uh my my schedule I should have everything that I'm supposed to be doing. Uh tomorrow. Yeah, so if you want to know what the heck I'm doing, be sure to check out my uh, Twitter or uh, my YouTube community posts because my schedule's on there every week. And yeah. That's all for me today. Thank you all so much for the stream. And yeah, until next time, I'll see y'all on the other side. Bye, 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 b